Shannon, does he have a point? No. Absolutely not. Because the league, the league, the NFL, what do they say it stands for? No fun league. They've always done away, they've been done away with cho choreographed celebrations. The NFL have always suppressed individuality. Even team, they won't even let you celebrate as a team, so this is nothing new. The ratings decline, I believe it has to do, a large part to do with this election is unlike anything we've ever, ever seen. Ever. That has something to do with it, Skip. Mm -hmm. I think the poor matchups, what we thought were going to be good teams coming into the seasons, being national televised games, have not lived up to its billing. And plus, poor, oh, excuse me, and plus poor play. These teams are not playing particularly well. I mean, if you look at it, there's only a handful of teams. You know, the Patriots are the Patriots. They're always going to be the Patriots. As long as Brady's there, Coach Belichick's there, they're going to be a top team in the AFC. But Big Ben has been hurt. Steelers not playing as well as they thought that they, uh, uh, we thought they would. The Ravens haven't been, you know, a team that's normally pretty good. They haven't been anything. The Jets, they, oh, the Jets are going to be so... Jets are nothing. Buffalo's going to... Buffalo's no, my, my, nothing. So when you look at it, the play around the league and in the NFC, it's only the Cowboys that really stand out until you're like, you know what? The Cowboys, I mean, think about this. The Cowboys are really the only team in the NFC that people want to see right now. And you they know, got crushed by the Cubs the other night. <laughs> and, but, and think about this. No fun. You know, you're noticing teams that are not winning, the, some of the key players talk about not fun. Odell Beckham Jr. said, guess what? I'm not having fun. Cam Newton, two and five. He didn't mention protection. Yeah, he was talking about the protection yep. in the pocket, but yep. he's not having fun anymore. Richard Sherman, they're not the Seattle that we they're remember not. over the last two or three years. Now, there's no fun. Yep. Plus, the unrealistic expectations. Everybody, it, C Commissioner Goodell and the NFL have sold us a product that says it's going to continue to grow. And the expectations that, that the ratings will continuously grow. Skip, that's unrealistic. You can't, every game is not going to draw 25 million people, 25 million eyeballs. It's just not going to happen. And besides, there are more bad teams than there are good teams. And a lot of times, the bad teams are playing each other on a national televised game. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, the Atlanta was great. But it, did you really want to see Tampa? Did you really want to see Jacksonville and Tennessee the week before? No. Those match. I mean, come, let's be, let's just be 1,000%. Yeah. The, the, I, the, I did want to see Jameis play against Atlanta, but that's just me, but I'm, I'm hardcore. It's, but yep. see, now the thing is, you watching for one individual player and not the team. That's correct. And see, that's the thing. Uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, basketball, you can get away with having a superstar, say, like Russell Westbrook. You must see OKC. But football doesn't work like that. There's not one guy that you say, you know what? I'm going to take two hours, three hours out of my day because mm -hmm. I got to watch that guy. Yep. You watch that team because guys come and go. But you support your team. And when your team is not doing well, you know, and, or, and then they combine them on a Monday night or Sunday night or Thursday, like, I'm not watching that. Mm -hmm. So, no, I do not believe because, it's because they're not celebrating. Because you know what happened, Skip? Like I, I told a story that I, I, we were playing San Diego and I pretended I caught a touchdown, and I pretended I went to the goalpost, and I picked up, pretended I picked up a phone and I called my grandmother. The very next week, you know what Joe Horn did? He stashed the cell phone under the goalpost. He scored a touchdown, went and got it out, and called. So you know what would happen if they let stuff go like that? Somebody would park a car close to the field. And as soon as they scored a touchdown, they'd jump in the car and drive all around the field and kick up donuts, like Marshawn Lynch did on the golf cart when they beat when they Cal. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. I get it. You want to see, you want to see individuality because you have on helmet because we're the only we have on helmet shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. and unless you do something very very good or something bad, that's the only time you pop up. Basketball, they don't have any. They, baseball, they don't have. So I get it. But this is not the reason why no fun because it's not fun. No, this election, the poor matchups, the poor play, and unrealistic expectations to think ratings will continuously go up.